Welcome back sa video natin about Research Chapter 1. Dito, hypothesis naman ang i-discuss natin. Tapos na tayong mag-discuss hanggang SOP, kaya naman hypothesis na yung next part. Hypothesis is the shortest part of Chapter 1 kasi sasagutin mo lang dito yung main problem. This is an educated guess about your main problem at ito yung itetest mo sa study mo. Meron tayong tinatawag na null hypothesis or written as H sub O. Ito yung nagsistate na no significant relationship or significant difference between your variables. Ito yung most common na hypothesis na ginagamit. However, may ibang mga researches din na kailangang state yung alternative hypothesis, pero hindi palagi. So, I suggest tanungin mo ang research advisor mo kung magsusulat ba ng alternative hypothesis or pwedeng na hypothesis na lang. Alternative hypothesis is in affirmation form. Ibig sabihin, there is a significant relationship or a significant difference. Depende sa main problem mo. Itong alternative hypothesis, optional, pero itong HO na null hypothesis, this is always stated. Example, meron kang SOP na is there a significant relationship between the extrinsic motivation and the academic performance of selected grade 6 students in public elementary schools in the 1st District of Laguna? So yung part ng hypothesis mo sa study, ganito lang kaikli. The following null hypothesis was tested in the study. Kailangan may ganitong short introduction muna bago mo isulat yung pinaka null hypothesis. So, there is no significant relationship. Sinagot niya lang yung SOP na main problem. Ganyan kapag significant relationship. Next example natin, paano kung significant difference naman yung usapan? Ganun din. You will also state the null hypothesis na itatest mo sa study. There is no significant difference between the demographic profile and the perception towards community quarantine guidelines. So that's it kung paano tayo magsulat ng hypothesis. Pinakita ko lang yung null hypothesis kasi ito yung mas gamit na gamit na hypothesis sa quantitative studies. But I challenge you then, ikaw na nanonood ngayon, subukan mong isulat ang alternative hypothesis for SOP1 and SOP2 sa part na to. Tapos comment down below, tingnan natin kung tama ang alternative hypothesis na nabuo mo. Thank you for watching! If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video!